Computers are used for so many different tasks. Playing games. Watching videos. Running calculations. Communicating and collaborating. Computers today are a mixture of different types of hardware and software. But there is one program that brings them all together, and that's the operating system. To consider what the operating system is, let's go back in time to the invention of digital computers. They could handle around 5,000 complex calculations per second. Impressive for the time, but today's supercomputers perform nearly 34 trillion calculations per second. Programs were written on punch cards, pieces of cardboard with holes. These were fed one at a time into the Central Processing Unit, or CPU, and enabled the earliest form of computer batch processing. In some cases, one person was in charge of making sure the cards were fed in correctly. Their job was to correct jams and schedule when the next program could be run. As computers became faster, they were able to process punch card tasks quicker than the cards could be fed in. There was another problem. Different computers' resources, that is, the components within them, such as RAM, and the devices attached to them, such as printers, were all different from one another. A programmer had to write very different types of programs specific to the machine it would be running on. Was it this card? Or that card? Oh no, it's all getting a bit complicated, isn't it? The solution was to write a brilliant piece of software called an operating system, or OS. The OS would take over the tasks common to many programs. Today, operating systems control the hardware of the computer. They manage and allocate resources and provide an interface for the user. Go on then, turn on that computer and we'll see what happens. An OS is one of the first programs that runs when a computer is turned on. Most programs start the same way. The computer issues lines of code as commands to prepare all the important elements, like the screen and the network. The operating system holds the collection of all the common commands and segments them, rather like putting them into a library from which the other regular programs can borrow codes.